Hello guys, welcome to another video. Manus 1.6 has been released, so they came out with three versions. The light version, standard version, and max version. So in this release, they included a bunch of very cool features. So it can access all types of agent on one platform. So in this tutorial, we're going to show you how that works. So that being said, let's get started. So you can see from the main page, there is an input box and underneath the input box there are uh, agents to create slides build website develop apps design agents and if you click more they also can schedule tasks can do research and also the spreadsheet a visualization you can also generate videos audios and so on and so forth super cool and because if you are on the light version you can access all that for free if you want to pay manus to use the max version you can also uh, go to the manus payment page and pay for manus to try out the max version in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use it so we're going to use the 1.6 live version to do the demo so that being said let's get started so for example uh, if you go to the app section and then you can type in a task or ask anything so one thing good about manus is that so for each agent once you click on it it will show a lot of the samples so this is very helpful you can know how it works and how the samples look like so instead of just guessing there's very good samples for every agent so if you want to go to another slide or another tool another agent you can just click the cross mark and then it should be able to bring you back to the next page so you can just click on or try out the other agent so for example build website you can build a landing page dashboard portfolio and if you do not like the website you can uh, just check it out so then you can go to develop apps as well and try out the design as well so very cool for the design you can choose nanoplana or gpt image one if you are a free user nanoplana is on paid plan so let's cross it out so i tried a few ones those are very good so for example i tried the create slide so if you go to the b2b software sales presentation this example that i tried you can try out the samples they provided so these are the samples they provided when you choose great slide so this example is to create a sales presentation for a b2b software solution showcasing its features benefits and ROI for potential clients so you can see that it created a very nice plan for all the slides it's trying to create and after that it generated a super cool slide so this is very useful and also it's available on notebook lm from google which you also have a video for that so the difference is that it created this slides by html so it's not really like pdf um, so everything is html but it's also downloadable you can see all the json files content and the other slide is in the all files pop-up so you can actually click the view all files in this task to sh see everything that has been created for this task so if you click on the slide you can see all the slides are created very very nicely so this is very good so super premium pbt so it's not just a casual trying out so it's very very enterprise level work so so this is for pbt creation and the second example that I tried is for the image creation, image generation. It's super cool. So if you try out the image generation, for example, you can just click the videos. So there's a little bit difference because the video generation uh, have two parts. One is for generating videos, the other one is to generate the image. So if you are on free plan, you should be able to create an image. But if you're on a paid plan, you should be able to create videos as well. So if you go to this test, we have RAM, so you can see this is a video or the image that we created. So first, we try out the sample prompt the man has provided. So you can see we're trying to create a video, but it says you cannot create a video because uh, you're actually on a free plan. Please upgrade your subscription. So let's continue so that it understands the request. So instead, it created an image. So after that, um, you will start the planning and also create this image. So the image is good because you're actually using the GPT image one to create the image. So the image quality is okay. So 
another very cool feature is that it's not just image generation, it's image as an agent. So you can actually just edit this image on a canvas. So it's like a lot of art. So we have a few tutorials and demos of a lot of art in this channel. Feel free to check that out. But you can just click the image and you can get this lot of art effect. So you can see all the images are laid out in the canvas. You can just click on the image and can right click and you can edit text, mark edit. So you can click a small section of this image. For example, I want to update the text or if I want to update the color of somewhere in the image. So you can talk to the agent they will understand it and make the change. For example, you can see there's a number one here. We want to change the tax. So after that, you'll see a little icon in the input box. So you can tell the agent what you want to edit. In this case, we want to change it's me to the seller. So you can see from the processing, it changed everything to a seller. So super cool. So you have this image editing agent, just like of Love Art, and it's for free. So super nice. So this is another very cool feature of the new release of Manus 1.6. Um, so let's close it out and try a, or go to a different one to try it. So the another example we tried is to build web applications. So there are a lot of web builders out here um, on the market, a lot of them, but Manus is super good. So for example, we want to create a news blog uh, for technology and called Byte Beacon. So they also came up with a very cool name. So then the purpose is to deliver real-time tech updates and long-form editorial content, the core features and also visual vibes. And you can see after the auto thinking and generation, we didn't touch anything, didn't communicate. And it came out with a very nice block, very nice block. So uh, if you just click on this icon, or you can actually just click on the publish. So first they have the publish, they will give you the link to see the live site so which you can see here this is the live site so you can see this is very very well done as a tag block it's very slim slick and also super clean uh, there's also a login created for you uh, you can also see categories and also different articles you can click inside the article to see the content and also you can comment on it so super nice they also made a chat box maybe it's a chat box so very cool so if you want to build a website this is also a good option just using manus and it is on the free plan so super cool if you want to edit this website so they also keep the same feature as 1.5 we have a tutorial for that it has a visual a virtual virtual box so it's it's free so it's a virtual box it's on the cloud it's like a cloud computer you can just go ahead go to this cloud computer and edit the website. So if you click this view Manus computer, click this, and you can see from this icon, you can see there's a fish code. So if you click this, you will go to a page like that. So enter the password, which you can prompt data to show you the password using specific comment. So we have the tips to generate the password in my Minus 1.5 tutorial for free to check that out. But if you want to use the virtual machine or cloud computer to edit the website or anything that you created with Manus, then generate the password, paste it here. You can create, go to this virtual machine to edit. So it's very cool. And we also tested a very cool feature is audio generation. So not just audio, so they actually created audio with slides. So this is super cool. So if you go to project, new task, and say, okay, I want to create the audio. So they created some samples for you. So these samples are random. So every time you click on it, it we generated different samples. Let's check it out, cross it out. And if you go to the sample that we generated here, so it is a create momentum, Ethereum explanation slides with corresponding audio narration embedded on each page. So this is slides with audio. So not just audio, like the audio tools on the market say, okay, I want to create this audio and Manus created slide with audio. So this is super powerful. So you can see that the slides are created and also the audios are created for each slide. So after everything is completed, you can see that there's a final documentation. Uh, for this. So let's check it out. Let's just click on it. You can see that there's audio for every slide. Let's play it. The Momentum Theorem, Understanding Force in Motion. 
a fundamental concept in classical mechanics that connects force, time, and changes in motion. This is super, super cool. So this is actually maybe even better than Notebook LM from Google. So you can see that um, every slide has an audio, so you can listen to every slide. And the slide is also very good. So you can see it's clear, clean, and tell what it is. So super cool. And Manus did a great job on this. Uh, last but not the least, if you want to try it out and get some free credit, I'll put the link in the video description. So feel free to register. Go get 500 credits as I see in here. So hopefully, and this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thanks so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.